The formation of Earth's atmosphere and hydrosphere occurred over millions of years through a series of complex processes. Here is an overview of how both these spheres developed. Formation of the Atmosphere The Earth's atmosphere formed primarily through volcanic outgassing, a process in which gases trapped in the Earth's interior were released during volcanic eruptions. Early Earth, Hadean Eon when Earth first formed, it was a molten mass, and the atmosphere was very different from the one we have today. The primary gases released were hydrogen, helium, methane, ammonia, water vapor, and carbon dioxide. However, these early atmospheres were stripped away by solar winds due to the young Earth having no protective magnetic field. Volcanic activity and outgassing About 4.4 billion years ago, as the Earth cooled, volcanic activity increased. Volcanic eruptions released water vapor, H2O, carbon dioxide, CO2, nitrogen, N2, sulfur dioxide, SO2, and other gases into the atmosphere. The composition of the atmosphere during this period was mainly CO2 nitrogen and water vapor with very little free oxygen. Condensation of water vapor and formation of oceans. As the Earth continued to cool, the water vapor in the atmosphere condensed, forming the first oceans. The Earth's atmosphere started to change, with the water cycle becoming more active and gases like methane and ammonia decreasing. Rise of Oxygen Great oxygenation event. About 2.4 billion years ago, photosynthetic bacteria, such as cyanobacteria, started producing oxygen as a byproduct. This led to the slow accumulation of oxygen in the atmosphere, known as the Great Oxygenation Event, GOE. Over millions of years, oxygen concentrations rose and began to form the modern atmosphere, with nitrogen as the dominant gas and oxygen reach ING around to 1% of the atmosphere's composition. Modern Atmosphere Today, the modern atmosphere consists primarily of nitrogen, 78%, oxygen, 21%, with trace amounts of argon, carbon dioxide, neon, and other gases. The ozone layer also formed, helping to protect life on Earth from harmful ultraviolet radiation. Formation of the Hydrosphere The hydrosphere refers to all the Earth's water, including oceans, rivers, lakes, groundwater, and ice. The formation of the hydrosphere is closely tied to the cooling of Earth and the condensation of water vapor in the atmosphere. Early Earth, Hadean Eon, initially, the Earth was too hot for water to exist in liquid form. Any water present would have been vaporized. However, as the Earth cooled over time, the temperature dropped to a level where water vapor could condense, forming liquid water. Outgassing and the formation of oceans as volcanic activity released large amounts of water vapor into the atmosphere, the cooling of the Earth allowed this water vapor to condense. The condensation led to the formation of the first oceans about 4.4 billion years ago. Some scientists suggest that comets and asteroids also contributed to the early Earth's water by delivering ice. Continued cooling and stabilization of water Once liquid water formed, it began to accumulate in low-lying areas, creating the Earth's first oceans. Over time, the water cycle, evaporation, condensation, precipitation, became established, regulating the distribution of water around the planet. Water in the atmosphere and oceans The Earth's oceans have played a critical role in stabilizing the planet's climate, absorbing heat, and regulating the carbon cycle. Over time, the salinity of the oceans increased due to the dissolution of salts from rocks, and life began to emerge in the oceans. Formation of ice caps and freshwater The cooling of Earth continued over millions of years, leading to the formation of ice caps and glaciers in polar regions. This created freshwater reservoirs. Over time, rivers, lakes, and groundwater sources formed as well. Interplay between the atmosphere and hydrosphere the atmosphere and hydrosphere are closely linked through processes like the water cycle, evaporation, condensation, precipitation, which affects weather patterns and climate. The exchange of gases between the ocean and the atmosphere, such as CO2 absorption and release, plays a significant role in regulating Earth's climate. Together, these two spheres, along with the lithosphere and biosphere, 
create a dynamic and interconnected system that supports life on Earth.